In a dramatic debate frequently interrupted by points of order, a majority of members of parliament supported the Education Committee's report, which faulted the list of the six nominees for, among other things, failing to incorporate members of other professions, failing to meet the constitutional threshold on regional balance, and exclusion of special interests like persons with disabilities. The debate saw a divided house as members of parliament abandoned party loyalties and tore into the report. Those in support of the report pressed the committee's vigilance while those against the report accused the committee of overstepping its mandate in recommending a new selection panel be constituted. Mr. Speaker, the opposers of this motion are having a very, very difficult time opposing it because, Mr. Speaker, the Education Committee has, for the first time, Mr. Speaker, sought to bring the dignity of this House to show that this House, Mr. Speaker, is really... Uh, how not a conveyor belt. The recommendation of the committee, recommendation number two, says the following. Fresh selection panel be constituted as per the TSC Act. Fresh selection panel. If we pass this, it means a fresh selection shall be constituted. And that is contrary to Section 8, Madam Speaker. What will argue? Uh, Order 949 is being violated. So therefore, in actual sense, Thank you, it Mr. is Speaker my argument. Sir. It will be very unfair to this candidate. It is very sad that people or members of parliament who is supposed to be taking this country forward are now coming up with regions and everything else. MPs also took issue with the nomination of Kiragu Wamagoshi to chair the commission arguing his sole nomination and the manner in which his name was forwarded to the president was done through the back door in breach of the TSC Act that requires that a list of three nominees be forwarded to the president for approval. At the same time, they queried how one of the nominees who last year was a member of the selection panel was this year an applicant and had passed the interview with a score of 80 percent with some pointing out by allowing the list to sail through it would amount to a mass exodus of senior officials in the education ministry to TSC with five out of the six nominees currently serving in the education ministry we are voting against the process a flawed process we are not voting against uh, any member who went for the interview and I think the report of the committee is very clear that these members are eligible to reapply and go through a process which is foolproof. And I think that's what we are saying, Mr. Speaker. Chair of the Education Committee, Sabina Chege, at one point even alleged she had received threats as a result of the committee recommendations. I have been personally threatened by an honorable member through his Facebook page. And he is also using the same page to incite members of Moranga County and I've been told not to step in some areas of Moranga County. Parliament's decision now means President Uhuru Kenyatta, upon receiving communication from the National Assembly, will have to declare the positions vacant through a Gazette notice within 14 days and proceed to appoint a new selection panel to conduct fresh interviews. This is the third time Parliament is debating a list of nominees to the TSC early in the year. MPs rejected a list forwarded by the then President Mwai Kibaki, expressing their reservations over the nomination of its chair, Kiragu Amag Gochi, who in the list submitted by President Uhuru Kenyatta, his name was retained as chair. The others whose names have also been rejected include Albert Kirapa, Jacinta Kapio, Muita Makubo, Muthurin Koroi, and Mwijuma Mwinyipembe.